Let's take a closer look at some technical details ahead of the Australian Grand Prix 2024. Let's start with Red Bull. They started with some special pit stop training with a dummy nose to practice changing a damaged nose cone during a race. Interesting for us here are the used wing profiles with large leading edge radius and a very small trailing edge thickness. Another interesting point about this training is that Red Bull supposedly positioned the driver's drink bottle in the nose, so the most forward position. So at race start the weight distribution is more forward, with water usage more rearwards. So there must be a connector for the drinking bottle and we can see it here. So maybe this test had something to do with this. They also practiced changing a damaged wheel. We can now see the quite pretty rim design which is usually covered and we see the veins and the brake duct to push the air in certain directions. We could see another nice shot of the rear brake assembly without cover. You see the low sitting caliper, the air ducts and also the safety ropes to keep the wheels with the car during a crash. The keel area became increasingly important as teams now package electronics here because there is no more space in the high undercut side pods. You can see the connectors, cooling duct and plank suspension here. Another interesting and very aggressive feature are the forward strike outlets, which are at an extreme angle which let water shoot upwards during rainy conditions. So this will help to keep air with the strakes instead of bleeding across the strake. So in other words, more outwash. At Ferrari we could see the front bulkhead assembly with the steering column, rack and the laser sensor underneath to measure the height of the car and hence monitor downforce. Also, we see very nicely the floor entry. At the Mercedes, we see nicely the extreme outwashing front wing tip feature and some covered cable routes. Also nice to see the short nose and large first two elements. It looks like they are using their standard high downforce rear wing, but without gurney flap here. We can see the extreme camber of the center profile and the bluff forward wall at the sides. Aston Martin uses their large front wheel wake rake, so either they are not satisfied with correlation so far and want to collect more data, or they are trying new parts or setups upstream. Also very nice to see their large cut floor edge, and we can see a blister in their water slide area, which is most likely for the exhaust primaries. They use a rear wing with backed off tips to reduce induced drag, and also here without gurney. They have a gentle center cut and a pretty carbon fiber aero cover for their DRS rocker. Also at McLaren we could see their front brake cooling with a low sitting caliper and air channels above. Racing bolts use a very straight rear wing with a very thin detached flap. At the front we see their highly cambered and very thick first element. And Haas seem to have melted their front wing vein, so this will give them a different vortex pattern along the sides. So let's see how each team will perform this weekend and see you at the next video. And if you want to work in F1 and design aero features like this, check out my online career accelerator program with the link below.